Hi programmers, today we're going to create a login box and we're going to use that data2.cs uh, class that we created last time. And uh, what I've done was I've added a new table to it that holds a name ID, a full name, and a password. And here are my variables that I'm going to use. And then inside of this select one row class that we put in created, I added a case statement to the switch because these are the um, column names inside the table and MCMPWD is the name of the table. And anyway, so the next thing I did was, and this is not for you, it's just telling you, I created a, um, a user of a login of 1000 and a password of 1000 and the name I just said last space first okay and uh, this test login too is some stuff with code in it I created it once to save on typing so anyway let's get started we're going to add new item web form to design mode and um, then I was thinking about changing the background color because uh, this doesn't like a plain white page but maybe we'll just go ahead and leave it that way let's insert a table Let's put some labels on there. Put it over here. Let's do some text boxes. Let's do a button. Okay. This here is going to be login. This one here is going to be password. Uh, this here is going to be nothing. We can leave it label, I guess. We're going to, or a dot, just this here. We're going to change the name of that. And it's going to take a second to change that name. Okay, we're going to change the name of this one. Okay, we're going to change the name of the button. And then we're also just changing the name of it. It'll take a second. We're going to call it Submit. And another thing we need to do is on this um, password one, we need to change the text mode to password. Then we can start adding the C sharp code. Alrighty. Let's start with our variables. This first one, he creates an object of that data too, so that we can use him easier and the others are just um, variables we need for the database. The first three are the password fields and this fourth one is a, the command that we send to the select one row. Then I created this method to break up the variables after we get them from the database call. 
and it's just plain old vanilla C sharp. Nothing special about it. Where we split those characters up because you know the filter character is what breaks each uh, build up. And then we put the code behind the submit button. Uh, first, we validate that first field to make sure that he is a um, number. And then we set this name label, which I must have forgot to call it name label, but we will, to um, an error message if it is an error, and if it can't find it. Well, no, excuse me, if you don't enter a number. And uh, then we do the database call where we select from MCMPWD where name ID equals login and password equals password. And then we set the name label to uh, what we got from select one row. And then uh, we check to make sure it's not invalid. And if it's not valid, we send the name. Alrighty, let's come over here back here and let's change this name. Save it all. Now let's copy it to the website. Let's test it. Um, this here is. Um, I've tried it once before and the tape wasn't any good so we're doing this again but is this the right one let's log in let's check that because before our dot was down over here let's refresh there this is the right one so let's say 1000 well let's uh, test our error messages first let's give a character there see it's invalid so let's try 1000 and then do our password is 1000 we submit and it goes and gets our name for us and if it's invalid if it doesn't find it we get an invalid message alrighty there you go um, so you're all set to create your login page and you can pull up other data from that if you like or or anything else um, I'll show you on this one, he's in this file too. So this is the kind of stuff you can do with that. And, and then, um, like I create a statement. Of course, there's nothing to statement on. Well, I don't know if I've pulled all the data for that, but we'll see. And the statement does a pop-up window like uh, we did a couple weeks ago. There it is. So anyway, if that was not, it was more just test data there to have names and addresses and everything else there. And let me submit an address change down here. So there's there's all kinds of stuff you can do with just plain old C sharp. And uh, so y'all get started on that.